is get your mind right. Yo, and that's exactly what I gotta do. I gotta keep it real, man. The past week, I've been struggling, legit. And you guys know I coach, I got this podcast, and I'm supposed to have the game figured out, right? But the thing about it is that I get overwhelmed, I get frustrated, I get tired, I get mad, I get sad. And this past week, man, it's been a flurry of emotions for me. You know, I've decided to live my life at a high level, y'all, like a high level. That means with my family, my kids, my wife, my business, my health, my wealth, my happiness, my emotions. And the frustration for me is it feels like as soon as I go hard on one area of my life, other ones have to suffer, meaning they don't always meet my expectations. I have high expectations, I got high visions. And so this has been making me feel down. I've been interpreting these events in such a way that it's been making me feel frustrated and overwhelmed, quite frankly. And the past couple of days, it's, it's, it's topped off with me feeling like legit, just down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I started feeling guilty about that. I started feeling like, man, you shouldn't, have, you shouldn't feel like that. You don't need to feel like that. You should be feeling like this. Why don't you just do this? But nothing was working. And one of the things you know I like to do, I love to read. And so even when I'm feeling down, even when I'm off, I pick up a book. And I picked up a book by Wayne Dyer. It's called Your Erroneous Zone. And there was a part in it, and he was talking about the tyranny of the should. And this is what he said. He said, the shoulds always produce a feeling of strain, which is all the greater the more a person tries to actualize his shoulds and his behavior. Furthermore, because of externalizations, the shoulds always contribute to disturbance in human relations in one way or another. And that slapped me in the face. The past week I've been telling myself that I should have been doing this. I should be doing this. I shouldn't be doing this. All of these false expectations. And it's been producing a feeling of strain. And so one of the things I always coach my clients on that I needed to remind myself of today, this past week, is this. I am right where I need to be right now right now, today, I'm exactly where I should be. I'm exactly where I need to be. Because as soon as I start imagining that I should have done something different, or maybe I could have done this, then when that's when that strain comes in and the emotions start fluctuating and it throws me off balance. And so what I'm urging you today is like, if you, if you decided to live your life at a high level, let me guarantee you that you will be frustrated along the way, just like me. You will, be, you will be tired some days. You will feel like it's not possible. You will feel like you can't make everyone happy. You will start to believe the hype, but don't do it. Don't do it. Remind yourself that you're exactly where you need to be today. Keep doing it, keep moving. Boldly face reality, don't ignore reality, but then reframe it with a positive mindset and just keep going. Keep going, do not stop, it's worth it, all right? Get your mind right.